if you can just, yeah, tip that in. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so liquid nitrogen, 196 minus, all right? And here we've got this. I am so happy, that is so cool. Like, this is my inner kind of scientist coming out. All right, we'll leave that there for a second. We brulee our dish very gently. So there's the creme brulee part to it. And then to finish, There you go. Wow. You're going to do that. Yep. Okay. You're going to do that. Less than 10 minutes Less than to go. 10 minutes. Come on, guys, you can do it. Okay. I've got to do my mascarpone cream, and I put it in a bowl, whisk it all, and then it gets quite stiff. That's mixed. It's done. I'm a wee bit concerned about this mascarpone. I know that you can't over whip it. It curdles, it goes like a almost buttery like, it's very creamy. I'm sort of thinking, oh, I hope it's gonna be all right. But I've just gotta move on. Thanks. Oh, fogging up. Oh, I can see George is a little bit scared at this stage. Oh god. <laughs> Hissing and bobbing everywhere. I was never good at chemistry. But it all turned out OK, thank God. Everybody should be thinking about plating. Recall how it looked, how it was balanced. How the hell does it look like again? I have no time to think, so I just, like, freestyled everything. Timmy, you under control? Hey, get in there, Mark, under the pump. Have you missed anything? What are we, what are we, what are we no, missing? No, I'm still going to do the peaches and the almonds. But apart from that... Plums, I'll... plums, is that? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> One of those stone fruit. Is it mousses down first, then it's the... Three different mousses? Yeah. Then you tear gently Gen the sponge, because if yep. you squash it, you lose all that air. Yeah. Then the plums, yep. then the fronds, yep. then you grate a little bit of the smoked, smoked almond. almond and set the disc on top. Sounds so simple. Sounds like anyone could do it. <laughs> Here we go. Bring it home. Make us proud. I bring the chocolate ganache out. I know it says whisk in the recipe, but I just don't have time. And I don't have the strength or the power in my arms to be able to whisk it. I get the electric whisk out, and it blends it too fast. And straight away, it goes too thick. And I believe I've split it. I have no time to do that again or resurrect it, so I still use it. My anise mousse is sloppy. It's like it hasn't even cooked. It's completely wet. I'd have to whip it. My heart sinks. I try and get the hand blender out and see if I can thicken it at all, and it's just, it's foaming. It's not even setting. I need to try something else. I, I tip a little bit into another bowl with a lot more cream and, and start whipping it, and it's starting to thicken, but I taste it, and it's nowhere near the anise flavour that was in the dish. I decide to start plating up without that, and if I have time, I can come back to it. I took particular notice of George's dish. I think I remember how the layout of it was. Two minutes, everybody! Two minutes to complete this challenge! Have you seen so much pressure oh, in the last two minutes? The last couple of minutes, I think My I've energy seen. levels, I mean, I just I want to help them out. I want to get everything yeah, happening. But you can't do it yeah. all. So frustrating, isn't it? Guys, make decisions. If something's not right and you don't think it's good enough to put on the plate, don't put it on the plate. There's my ticket out. I can't put this anise mousse on this plate. It's not good enough. I make a call as tough as it might be that I'm just going to leave it the way it is. My anise mousse hasn't set. It's still liquid. I'm whisking my life into this anise mousse and praying that it thickens. But I've literally got seconds to go now and I have to stop. I'm just going to have to pour that cream into the middle and hope that it stays in there and doesn't flow out all over the plate. 20 seconds, guys. This is absolutely devastating. Okay. Get it on the plate or it's not going to be there. Come on. That component is a major player in this dish and I've completely stuffed it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Well done, guys. Congratulations, guys. I made it. So happy. Yeah, it's like I can have a deep breath now. 
I'm just so gutted because it's such a beautiful dish and I feel like I've absolutely massacred it. Oh, Glenda. Give back. No, I don't want to go on TV. Okay. <sighs> I know I'm going home today. I, know, I actually know it. I'm taking my dish up to the judges and George, and deep down, I'm feeling really disappointed in myself. It's really hard to, you know, sell something in a positive light when you're really low. I brew lay the twill, and it works. And then it's time to put the snow on, and this is kind of cool, fun, and yeah, it's interactive. Glenda, they don't call it a pressure test for nothing, <laughs> do they? They certainly don't. Once I started tidying up and taking some of the components out and realised that some of them hadn't set properly and things like that, I really started to panic then, and literally just wanted to throw on the towel. First attempt, it's incredible. Tell me one thing that really connects me with you and the dish. It's my life on a plate. A little bit messy, a few things broken. And this is my opportunity to do something really amazing for myself and take some time out from a career where I worked really hard to get there and then realised that that's not where I want to be. And this is where I want to be and having people like my son who will be proud of me. I reckon your son's sitting at home right now potentially licking the plasma screen. <laughs> yeah? Oh yeah, I'll be replicating this one at home, definitely. Thank you very much. It was a real pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Lovely well, to meet you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks well Linda. Amanda. George, first up, thoughts, presentation? Now the issue is that aniseed cream, I, it looks like pouring cream. Yeah. Um, shall we taste? Yeah, absolutely. I think she's nailed the balance of flavour in there. The middle mousse was a little bit runny, but as far as flavour and texture goes... Flavour's great, yeah, exactly. And we always say, yeah, flavour's the most important thing. The issue is that aniseed cream. Obviously, it's, it's more like um, pouring cream rather than this light mousse. Mm. Well, I was watching her at the end of that challenge and I was thinking, is she going to make it? Mm -hmm. Is it going to happen? She got it to the table, looked good, Flavours are working, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her. Good start. Great start. Great start. Good on you, Glenda. I think I really did well with the dish, and I'm just really, really hoping that the judges will be impressed and will, would, lo would like my dish, and especially George, that that's his dish, and save me to go for a trip. Well done. Congratulations. You, you should be super proud. So what's... What's the plan? What's, what's well, the dream? Well, my dream is to basically put up a, a restaurant designed to work side by side with my family members, and that's the main goal. Because I think Filipino food is pretty much underrated at the moment. You know, George talks about having fun in the kitchen yeah. and being yeah. up and positive. There's this lovely self-belief in, in, in what you're doing here and why you're here. You know, I'm pretty sure we're going to enjoy this again, so... Thank you. Great job. Leave us to taste. Thanks Cheers, Leo. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you, George. Thanks, Leo. Thank you. Well done, man. See ya. Slightly concerned, he's he's put a lot of the pollen on the top. Yeah. That much that now, once you brulee, sort of he's burnt it. It could be a bit of bitterness. There, there. There, yeah, potentially it could be a bit of bitterness. Just a tiny bit of bitterness, as you pointed out, would be there, but doesn't... No. Doesn't throw it too much at all, really. No, not at all. Great flavour of aniseed. Yeah. Mm, really lovely flavour. My only concern on this dish is the sponge, you know, it's a bit chewy mm. on the palate. But these are, you know, we're... I'm picking it apart here. You're splitting hairs a little bit. I am. I am. But, I, again, I think yep. we have to because it's going to be that tight. The, the, the middle mousse, he got that... It could have been probably a little stiffer, but it was it was there, and it's the best we've seen so mm. far. Just goes to show, from pig farmer to you know, a petite plate of you know pastry. I mean, it's extraordinary. I'm actually surprised he didn't sort of just slip a Filipino touch in there because that's normally <laughs> what he does. <laughs> Feeling quite resigned to the fact that you know there's a real possibility I might go home today. I know that some of the others, some of the elements haven't worked out okay. I'm hoping I've done better. If I went home today, I'd feel like my journey would be a little incomplete. Uh, this is something I love to do, and I know I'm good at. Any one of us can go home today. 
And it's those minute, those little, littlest details that could mean life and death. If you were told six months ago that you could produce a dish like this, I bet you would have laughed at me. Five beautiful Greek brulees. And I'd have to say, every bit as handsome as the one that George put up. Brilliant stuff, top five. To the top four, the spoils. And we'll get to that. But sadly, we have to send someone home. I so want to be in that top four. And they mentioned passports earlier in the day, but for me, the top four is only one step closer to the final, and that's really all that matters right now. Let's get down to business. Leo, we'll start with you. All of your components were 90% there, but you just added a little bit too much sponge on that dish for me. But all of your other elements were spot on. Step back, Leo. Stepping back is like really a bad sign. Why would you step back if you could step forward and go to the side? Glenda, step forward, please. I feel like I'm actually stepping up to the firing line. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not ready to go home. The anise mousse was a little bit more like an anise anglaise. It was very runny. And you know that it only really takes one component to throw a whole dish out. Yep. Step back, please, Glenda. Tim, step forward. Leo and Glenda have just been asked to step back. I have a feeling I'll probably get asked to step back too. Al mentioned one component. We left one entire component off the dish. In your defense, George said that if it wasn't perfect, leave it off the dish. But it did change the flavor profile of the dish. Absolutely. Having said that, the four of us thought that all of your other elements were close to perfect. Step back, please. Hayley. Whoever goes home today, you know, they're going home on the back of just one small thing going wrong, which is making it so hard for the judges. Pretty emotional day in the kitchen for you today, wasn't it, Hayley? It was. Same deal, one element, you know it, and we know it, you split your chocolate ganache. Yep. Mind you, the rest of your components were fantastic. Step back, please. Richard, step forward, please. To be in the top four and to get the opportunity to travel overseas would be very fulfilling for me, and I think it may change the perception of some people have of me. So your one element that wasn't right was the mascarpone mousse. There was far too much of it, and it was over-whipped. Kind of coated the top of our mouths and really dramatically altered the eating quality of the dish. Richard, at this stage of the competition, it's down to splitting hairs. It's at this point that I realise that he's not stepping back into the line. Your mistake had the biggest effect on the eating of George's dish. I can't believe what the judges are saying. Richard's phenomenal. I've always seen him as my biggest competition. Brutal as it is, your dish was the one that ate least well. So I'm sorry, Richard. You have been an absolute gentleman from the moment that you cooked the eel so the girls didn't have to. That eel chowder, it was absolute masterstroke. And boy, you can cook a bloody good pie. Thank you. If your family's got any doubts, you have certainly proved them wrong. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. You really have been an extraordinary contestant. We've loved every minute of it. Yeah, I just feel like I'm let myself down a little bit, but that's beside, you know, I'm fine. I've got to the top five and um, my journey's over in the MasterChef kitchen. Mate, you've given us some outstanding dishes. You're a great cook and on top of that, you're a great guy. Thanks, Josh.